Hello guys and girls, ladies and boys and girls. I had another dream last night when I was young again. I was with my um, foster dad in the dream, not my real dad, and I was in the car with him. But we went to the house first to bring back the memories in the dream. And everything changed. I looked at my room in the dream. And uh, basically everything was different. A lot of times it was, he actually moved down the road from where we used to live. He used to live up the road. And then we were in the car speaking and talking in the car. And I said, where are we going? And we went somewhere like the X Factor and uh, all of a sudden the X Factor turned into Sonic the Hedgehog. And we were getting all the rings and stuff and people were cheering people on. Saying, well done, well done. You know, good job. But some people fell off the edge trying to get the rings and stuff. As you've, if you've seen Sonic the game in the film, it's really good in the cartoon. Um, so yeah, that's what really happened in the uh, sort of story that I'm talking about. And I had a story the night before where I was in this place looking for something. There was a woman there. And basically there was a guy in a wheelchair talking to me. So I was looking around this place, which I've never really been before. Is it something in the future? Is it something in the past? Is it something that I, I'm seeing now before I die? And when I do eventually cross over, of old age, I'll see another dimension. And another planet, and another solar system that I'm not going to go into. But at the moment, I'm on the Earth that we're on now. As you can see, I'm filming my TV. That is my PlayStation 4. And, uh, yeah, that's a screen menu. Then you can see in the menu the little circle going down. With the PlayStation 5 symbol. Well, you know, the circle just flying across the screen. They don't make many things like that anymore. But, yeah, um, my dream. Everyone dreams differently. People don't dream the same. But this is my dream and my world. You may dream differently to me, and you may not notice it. Um, I don't know if you guys and girls and ladies and boys and girls find it hard to get up in the morning or the afternoon. I have been recently. I know I have too many late nights gaming, watching films, forgetting what time to go to bed. Um, perhaps it's best to get a reasonable time and a schedule of sleeping. I agree, but some people can't and it's annoying. So I thought I'd throw that into the mix as well. Um... You know, too many late nights is not good for the body. It stresses the body out, as we all know. And uh, we've been doing that for a while now, which is not doing me any favours. So some people say to me, go to bed earlier, you'll feel better on yourself. Only, only game or watch TV in the daytime, which is a, a reasonable thing they say. They say it's up to you. Which I know it's up to me. It isn't a good thing, as you can see there. Um... There's my time on the wall. Quarter to one in the afternoon. Some people say it's not healthy to stay up all night. I know it's not. And I've got a problem at the minute. The only person that can sort this problem out is myself. And I would have sorted it out weeks ago. What I'm talking problems I'm talking about is my sleeping patterns. I just get distracted of videos and what time. And then I forget to go to bed. Um stupid I know I'm going to have to really make an effort and force myself to go to bed at a reasonable time so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to do that but like I say um, I mean, it is what it is but I better do something about it when you're younger you can do what you like it doesn't affect you when you get older you start to feel the effects so I need to make a decision to stay up late or go to bed earlier not the same as it used to be. When you're younger, you can shake it off. But yeah, um, that's all I can really talk about my dream. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace out. Peace. See you later.